Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 5. I'm Ciara Speller. We begin tonight with an update on the Hamden County Courthouse. The building's been closed for more than a week now due to a mold infestation. 22 News reporter Mike Mascadrelli joins us live with why the Springfield delegation wants Governor Baker to get involved. Well, Ciara, enough is enough for state representative Bud Williams. He's pleading Governor Baker to intervene and prioritize getting a new courthouse built. The Roderick Ireland courthouse has been closed for over a week while crews remediate a mold infestation. The wheels of justice have slowed down. Uh, you know, we're at a grinding halt. This is the busiest courthouse uh, in the Commonwealth. And look at there's nobody here. State Representatives Angelo Pupolo and Bud Williams both agree the courthouse is beyond repair and are sick of seeing the trial court offer what they call Band-Aid fixes. After 32 years working there, Williams firmly believes it's the building that caused so many to get sick. In the 80s and 90s, people have been rolled out of this building uh, by the ambulance and taken to hospitals. It was on Thursday that State Representative Bud Williams sent this letter to Governor Baker about the courthouse. He's requesting the governor declare an emergency order to rehabilitate or completely rebuild the Roderick Ireland courthouse. We need his intervention. Uh, we need him to be part of this process. Anything short of that is a civil rights violation. They're also in full support of the class action lawsuit against the trial court that was filed this week although there are real concerns about the justice system in the short term. There are concerns about trials, litigation, and keeping things moving, especially because everything is so backed up due to COVID. Now the trial court said they will determine the ability to reopen the courthouse based on environmental test results and the conclusion of the mold remediation that could also be subject to change with that lawsuit. I'm live in Springfield, Mike Mascadrelli, 22 News.